<laughs> oh no, hello everybody. Welcome to game number seven of Undead. <laughs> Over explained. And uh, now we have a pr particularly horrible game. This is Inducement Underworld, and he's got Creek Rust Gouger and Bomber Dribble Snot and two bribes. So, um, Creek has his own bribe as well with his special rule. So, um, yep, he just he just gets an auto stay on. Bomber gets to detonate somebody, detonate the bomb if somebody catches it. So, pretty great star players and two bribes. Maybe I should have kicked, honestly, but I just want to receive and punch things because I'm undead. So I've got mighty blow, and uh, yeah, I'm just gonna try and beat him up. That's my big strategy for this game. Big strats is just beat people up. Oh my god, is this a foul appearance? Hello? Disturbing presence. Okay, it's not foul appearance. Good. And two heads and block. This is a very uh, annoying, uh, <laughs> a very annoying underworld team to face. I'm just going to carry the ball in a rookie. Rookie. And just try to spread things out as much as possible to limit the impact of the bomb. There's no need to commit massively to the line because um, he can just size the boy anyway. Solid defence. Oh well, it could be a touchback. Or it could be a disaster. Yeah, hopefully should get some SPPs from killing things. Um Like you know, the rest of the team is rubbish, right? So it's just it's just punch things and hope for the best. Is about as about as simple as it gets, to be honest. I'm going to try and deal with a bomber, but it's he basically can't quickly deal with him. Anky Panky, yeah. I'm glad that they've gone back to a comedy name, because Slibly was rubbish. Like, Silly Billy was... Was a bit silly, but a bit funny. And then Anky Panky. They've got, like, Anky Panky and... Itsy bitsy and all this kind of stuff, haven't they? So I think, uh, yeah. What was he called? Fezglitch. I, I don't know. I don't know if Fezglitch is still in or not. To be honest, probably removed him, right? Because Creek is like Creek is really cool, actually. Yeah, Fezglitch is the name. Yep, give this to this guy. Pro tip for Dimmy there, don't give it to a zombie. Whoa, hey. Oh god. Instant reroll. <laughs> Mummy defeated by Snotling. <laughs> oh god. Oh god. What a disaster this is. <laughs> Completely destroyed by this snotling, Jesus Christ. Uh, 
Um, do I even want these guys to base up there? I could. Wow. One knockdown. <laughs> One knockdown is how this game starts. Jesus. One reroll gone for one knockdown. <laughs> oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, we're gonna use the you know, gonna use the eye cage against Not even goblins or snotlings, aren't they? He hasn't even got any goblins. Jesus, what a turn. That was outrageous. <laughs> It's outrageously bad. <laughs> yeah, Sky Drug, I think it's a bit too safe, yeah. But it is kind of understandable, right? Versus Strength 5 mummies with Guard. This is kind of okay, right? Him, him committing to punch zombies isn't so bad. That's like three players committed to make a two dice block and it gets me one back. I didn't hear this. Of course I'm going to get removed now after smashing snotlings for nothing. No, not removed. Brilliant. I can use the guard of the mummy in there as well. Obviously, I have to hit the, gut, the uh, gutter run it if I can. Actually, I should have probably kicked for the one turn, shouldn't I? Um, I've just realised, I'm choosing to receive to bang him out. I probably should have kicked so that... Uh, to stop the one turn, because his one turn is very, very strong, isn't it? Incredibly strong. I don't know why I did it with a guard when I didn't see that the other one was there. Oh, right, no, I didn't. It was just, it was, okay, this one. No. I th because it came up above his head, I thought it was this one. I was waiting, right. Punch him. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Put him in there. I kind of want to hit the uh, troll. So I can just move here for cover. Hmm. 
If I uh, follow, you can blitz me, can't I? So that seems bad. It seems bad allowing him to blitz me. Oh dear, invincible snotlings. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're pretty OP. Well, they just don't die to anything. But yeah, I don't hate this build. Just take six snotlings and then mostly real players. Good. <laughs> right. Try and 3D this guy. Oh my god. <laughs> Imagine having normal dice. I would never. He's even just like asking me to 3D him as well. It's ridiculous. Right, let's put, punch him now. Have to pow now. Oh my god. But but now if he bases, no, he can screen. He can screen my mummy. Shit. Screen the mummy. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> what is happening? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> Oh, Jesus. Okay, actually powered. to there if I power him. Oh, for God's sake. If I go there, he can, like, probably just punch me down. Which isn't really what I want. But I guess like, at least I'm forcing him to do it. I think I'm just going to go back. Oh my god, what an appalling game this is. <laughs> no, I was, I was hoping to blitz the gutter, right? Like, if, if I'd just powered this guy, I could have three dice blitzed the gutter with Mighty Blow. So I was hoping... I was hoping for the mummy pow. 
Maybe what I should have done is maybe I should have done that block before moving this ghoul so that I could have then three dice blitzed the snotling with block. But if I'd powed, if I'd powed the uh, lineman, I would have gone in here, right? Because then he would have had to blitz me with three assists. But if I if I stand there and he's standing, he just needs two assists and blocks me, and then probably gets a foul in as well. Okay, so the uh, the bombardier is close. Now we can hopefully hit bomber dribble snot next turn. Fingers crossed. <laughs> the rest of the game's gone so well. <laughs> I'm sure that will happen. Maybe the mummy should have should have stood here to to uh, block things that were screening him. Actually, yeah, maybe this mummy would have been better here. But then I had to hold it outside a little bit. I felt because you know, getting to the point now, if not dealing with these two snotlings, that if you could get a player around, it could it could start going badly. At least his block dice are, clo are closing in on gym levels of bad. That's nice. And he's got to eat a mighty blow block to stop his troll getting smashed. Oh no, he doesn't. Oh god, he's just going to 1v this guy. Okay, good. Good. Oh man, double GFI. <laughs> double GFI smash looks pretty good. <laughs> He's flipping snotlings, honestly. His strategy is just get everything smashed to bits. <laughs> okay. Let's see if we can deal with the strat of getting everything smashed to bits. Pow. Another actual pow. It didn't break AV though, of course. Why would we ever break AV on a something? Good. Good. Yes, Rainer, yes. On turn four! <laughs> They've just been invincible. <laughs> They've been invincible for four turns. And he's, he's just he's just Thomas T-stepped everywhere. He's just like, please keep pounding them. Please continuously fucking pound my, uh, my snotlings. And nothing bad has happened to them at all. It's outrageous. It's completely outrageous. <laughs> 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 
Needs to get a three dice this guy in base bomber. Oh, good, another push. Just what we needed. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. Four turns. Four turns of just, like, three dicing everything forever and <laughs> just nothing. It's cost me a reroll. <laughs> he's, he's finally taken a removal on turn four. <laughs> it's, uh, it's bizarre, isn't it? It's bizarre. Yeah, at least he hasn't been fouling us out. Like he hasn't really done much else, right? He's like he's put some skinks in the he's put skinks he put some snotlings in the backfield, but they haven't really done. Like, he hasn't backed them up with the rest of the team, right? So. He's just gone here. Hit me, hit me, hit me, hit me. <laughs> but I haven't... While I haven't taken advantage of of a million hits, he hasn't taken advantage of them not working. So that's... That's something, at least. It could be going a lot worse than it is right now. We're going to have to start moving at some point... <laughs> I had hoped to have, you know, achieved something from all of these turns of punching. Oh, good. Use a reroll as well. The fact he's using a reroll there is making me a little bit more positive about his one turn chance, right? He's used two rerolls already. Um, so maybe he's not a one-turning expert. Uh, yeah, this one. No, this one. Wait, he can't pass this one. Oh, shut up, he hits my three! He hits my three! He hits all three! Oh, what?! <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? what is this? <laughs> it hits all three of my players. Oh my god, is he just gonna uphill? Uphill into double powers? Oh my god, and then just sends his gutter runner next to a sneaky kit to a player. I am I am completely bamboozled. This is prob this is how you play if you think nothing can ever fail, I think. And so far nothing has. Like he's still only lost one player. <laughs> one snotling. <laughs> one player that is the absolute weakest player in Blood Bowl is all he's lost. <laughs> it's incredible. It's actually incredible. <laughs> I'm, <laughs> I'm stunned. <sighs> right. He goes to there. And he just has to hold the line. He has to blitz. <sighs> Please break AV. Oh my god. Oh my god. It is just not possible. <laughs> what is happening? He should have stood up already. Follow there, and then stand up the guarder here. I'm not going to move the guarder anywhere. Please. Please hurt him. Please. <laughs> 
Yes! Okay, good. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Five turns to remove two snotlings. <laughs> <laughs> oh god so this is something i could have fouled him yeah but it's just too dangerous right if he gets removed if if, if like if i get spotted and sent off and don't break av right like i could double one i could do oh no, then i wouldn't get sent off yeah so okay right i've got sneaky gear so yeah i was thinking i could actually know so i if i get sent off he's got an assist and then a blitz right i guess he hasn't got players to blitz with so yes, I guess I could should maybe should have fouled him, yeah. Maybe should have fouled him, yeah. Yeah, you're probably right there, actually, Steve. As as ridiculous as fouling a snotling is, is as in as a suggestion for something to do in an actual game of Blood Bowl. Fouling a snotling. <laughs> um Yes, that probably wasn't bad. <laughs> Ah, good. 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 Right. Well, I'm happy that something approaching sanity has happened. Bomber is no more. There's a gutter to hit with three dice and foul. Um, the question is how to do it. The answer is with this block guy. with him. Oh, joy of joys. <laughs> oh, God. It, you know, why, why do I play Blood Bowl is the question. So, I can 1D him, right? I can move him up and 1D him. I've got block. Good. And I can move him up there. You'd think, Milo Mindbend, <laughs> you'd think that's what it was. If you were watching this game, you'd think it was like 5%. <laughs> but uh, I'm actually not pissed off by it, right? Like, it's, 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 uh, it's, it's not, like, you know. I'm really, honestly, I'm doing well with this series so far and not caring too much about the results. Um, it's just been amusing more than anything because, like, you know, it, I might have been pissed off if the bomb had hit my ball and then the gutter had scored or if, like, you know, this, I've triple scold into triple scold on the snotlings. But at the moment, I've still got two rerolls, still got two turns. Um, and maybe I should have rerolled one of the hits on the gutters. Honestly, on, honestly maybe I should have rerolled a hit on the gutter. Maybe that would have just been correct. Um, I mean, I had nine dice on him, but I, you know, I could have rerolled it. I could have had twelve dice on him, right? Um, so maybe I should have rerolled that one. But you never know, right? He might stand in my way, and I'd, I'd like to be able to reroll things still. He might give me another hit on the gutter. You never know. Wow. 
Wow, 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 wow. My God, he's just gonna kind of talk to him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Now surely, surely this time. <laughs> okay, no, he's just gonna dodge. It's like I'm, I can just surf him. Okay, no, I can't just surf him. <laughs> oh wow! Why, oh, my God, any he can't fail anything. <laughs> Can't fail any dice rolls. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I'm sure he's having fun. Yes, yeah, Stradike. I am sure he is having fun. Wow. He did fail the bomber. Yeah, okay. Okay, right. This seems rubbish, right? A blockless block. But if I blitz him, then, um,. I'll move this guy in here first. Is there, there a player? Okay, the player's down. Okay, so this guy can go there. So I've got three ghouls. I don't think I can even foul him, but like I kind of have to foul him, right? I have to make this block. I just have to. Okay, good. Oh, I kind of have to blitz the gutter. Even though it's actually more sensible to blitz this guy, right? To build the cage. It's actually more sensible to build it, blitz this guy and build a proper cage. Okay, I'm... God, you're not going to do the, the proper move. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Where, where'd it have to be? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yep. One, two, three, four, five, seven. Wait, no, no. I have to be here. Here. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, lock it here. Of course I roll a full power and I'm not hitting the gutter runner. Outrageous. Probably should have blitzed the gutter, honestly. <laughs> like, this is great, obviously, having, like, the cage. Like, this is the sensible thing to get the score. But then he might just one turn anyway, right? Plus, you could throw a snotling as well, so... Yeah, good thing AV7 is going to be AV5, yep. Yeah, that was very sensible. Perfect cage. Seven squares in. Zombie getting hit by the mighty blow. Finally made some removals. Yeah, honestly, like, it really is, right? The one turn is so highly likely that there's a really, really good argument for just blitzing the gutter and being less certain of the score. 
but some chance of killing the gutter runner. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Chunter. Yep, it's it's <laughs> it's the maddest underworld player in the world as well. He's used all of his rerolls, not caring about the one turn. So I think we don't need to worry about the one turn so much, actually, as he apparently cares not for one turns. Um. He's like Inducement Underworld. Oh, I mean, I have to go to Blitz. There's actually no, no choice. A POW? A FULL POW? Only a stun. Diced again. Three, four, five, six. That's a GFI. Um, so this one in nine is the same as the one in nine of this block, right? And there's only six players there, so I can't make this one a 3D. So I just have to do this block. Well, not if I'm going to make blo both blocks. If I'm going to make both blocks, then doing this block is fine, actually, isn't it? And then there's more chance to hurt players. Oh, God. <laughs> So, I think this block first, in the old days, in like Blood Bowl 2, when you could only use one reroll the turn, this block was just definitely better, right? And But now that I can use both rerolls, this gives me a little bit of payoff of two chances to hurt players, and like this is very unlikely to fail, right? Two 1 in 27s. So, th th this block is so unlikely to fail that getting the extra block has to be worth it, I think. Let me. Yeah, multiple rerolls per turn is. It, it, lots of people hated on it when it when it was first revealed. Um, and I was never one of those people who just instant got reaction hated it. But. Um, I think it's actually probably, you know, just a good thing. The more that I've played with it. My initial reaction was, you know, less variance is good for me. Um, some of it is like, you know, it lets people try really speculative plays and that can be annoying when it works. But also it's kind of fun to try those kind of plays, isn't it? So even like the worst thing about it which is that isn't even that bad oh do you know what he's more likely just to try to bloody um throw somebody isn't he oh god okay okay i think he's actually just more likely <laughs> what a nightmare. <laughs> I really don't know what the best setup is here. The fact he's got no rerolls makes me think he's a throw teammate kind of person. 
But this makes his pushes so easy for the gutter that it's ridiculous. And then I prefer like the double layer to protect against throw teammate, but then at least this makes him do a three two with a gut runner. And if if he lands in you know, he could land in two tackle zones as well. Um for one turn, so I'll do this. Yeah, that's true, Uguay, yeah. Yeah, passing, passing, having its own stat. To be fair, yeah, like if if gutters and every elf pass on a two plus, then yeah, then elves would be a little bit crazy, wouldn't they? So uh, yeah, but I was talking about the the gutter. Sorry, uh, Pendo. Yes, the gutter. At least this is a three two two for the gutter, right? Whereas if he does the throw teammate, the 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 web is better for the throw teammate. But this, this, the web is worse for the gutter. And he, he could do it with a gutter. Like, I just don't know, right? It looks like he is trying with a gutter, like. So, you know, just who knows what he's going to do. And I just don't know. It is weird. Like, it is weird. Because you can get, like, crazy sacking turns. And you could, like, I, I did it with... Dwarves, right? You're on Fumble, and I started playing. I played Fumble a little bit again, and um, I was surprising myself with the players I was going for with Dwarves because you might as well try, right? Like you've got three re rolls. You can you can try kind of crazy plays that you would just never, ever, ever try with one re roll, and then you can just suddenly try them, and it's not even bad. It's weird. Right, so he's going to blitz in and then get to to the two uh, pushes. But he's he's got some dice rolls here, right? He's got to roll pushes, doesn't, hasn't got re-rolls. So now he's going to go for the uh, throw. So he should have had a strength three player here, right? I guess it doesn't matter, he's got plenty of players. Maybe he should have been throwing a goblin because they're faster. Oh, he is. He's just going to move across to throw the goblin, of course. I'm an idiot. But now the goblin does 3 plus dodges at least. Instead of 2 plus dodges. So that's nice. Oh, animosity! <laughs> underworld. He only has animosity to the underworld goblin lineman. Amazing. Amazing. The one player he won't give it to is who he tried to give it to. Incredible. To be fair, he would have had to GFI to give it to a snot. Which would have failed. Oh, I guess he could have handed off this snot, couldn't he? Yeah, yeah, he could have. He could have given it this snot, probably. Okay, so survived the one turn. Good. Now up against Creek, <laughs> whose movement five, which is completely bonkers. On a scale of one to bonkers, a movement five ball and chain is insane. So I think this kind of setup Maybe lets me hit Creek next turn. Mm. 
What are the rules? Oh, it's a good question, punter. Um, is is Kale on here to answer that? <laughs> Please, Kale on. You've got to make some dice rolls. I don't really know what they are. <laughs> <laughs> it's anti-insanity ball and chain, right? Versus normal ball and chains, you just need to spread the LOS. And they just move three squares or whatever. But this this guy moves five. He's he's insane. It's completely ridiculous. Yeah, there is an argument that I could like put a player next to the mummy at least, or on the outside, on the outside of the mummy, maybe. It looks like he's just gonna 3D with the troll though, and he's not gonna pick on the mummies. Oh, what a kick! Oh, that's a touchback, diced. Nearly a good kick. Hopefully, does it dimmy and like gives it to the troll or something? <laughs> yes, having a dwarf, <laughs> a dwarf ball and chain is bonkers. Yeah, movement four, block and tackle. Wow, amazing! Hey, instant fail. <laughs> Amazing. Amazing. Right, so the guard can come in there, and then another player there, and then I hit him on the two dice. Let's go. Just need a push, please. Yep. Dirt, base, base, base. No, I'm not going to push, we're going to power. Instant pow. Yes! Yes! Oh, no injury! Yes! Oh, baby! Okay. Quite happy. Oh, <laughs> Mummy SPP! Amazing. Oh, <laughs> this was so scary. And, uh, yep, good. <laughs> I could have had a cheeky foul on the troll, couldn't I, actually, if I'd, if I'd saved him for later. That was, it was probably better to not move him and then just get him in, but I, I would have taken the boat down, yeah, as somebody said. I probably should have mentioned that. Um, yes, Ugua, yeah, I would have definitely taken the boat down, right? So I wanted this guy to just be here doing something if I took the boat down, because, yeah, of course I'm going to take the boat down to uh, remove Creek there. If he if he hits the deck, he's KO'd. Um, there you go, there's the, uh, there's the ball and chain. So if, um, is it ball and chain? I'm trying to work out. It, do, it might not be on the there, but it, it is a rule that if they get knocked down, they're KO'd. 
so brilliant push yeah he's a, he's a rat ogre he's he's like he's like the terminator right he's called the verminator and um he's like he's basically like a robot robot rat ogre that um that smashes people with his big ball fist thing oh we're all gone. He probably should have regen, yeah. He probably should. Oh my god, he's failed every dice roll. This this is brilliant. <laughs> all rerolls gone this turn. <laughs> Wonderful. You love to see it. He can, of course, now just 2 plus a complete cage with uh, Snotlings, but... <laughs> Flipping Snotlings. Should we do actually solve? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, double GFI. Because we don't want to dodge into on a four plus, do we? So um So no. Nope. Three dice from him? I ha I have to do this. This isn't you know kind of correct, is it? But, okay, well maybe we can be a little bit more correct. This guy in here. This guy in here. This guy based. This guy 3Ds. This guy gets powered. There's an argument, I guess, of blitzing the skink and then trying to screen in front of the gutter, but it's a two-heads gutter. That's just not going to work, is it? More than likely, just not going to work. This is a blockless hit. I don't really want to do it. So, um, let's see if we can hit this, the gutter. Get the pow, lovely jubbly. Into a V break. Oh. Well, we might do some dodging to try and get this. Get the pow. Keep him away from the garda. So this, I mean, unfortunately, this would be a four plus pickup. Um, I could like try the double dodge. And just keep a tackle zone on it. And maybe even a triple dodge. Or I could just run all the way around because he's moving five. He can't score. This one can score. I could, uh, yeah, this is still three. Right, let's go for the, this one first. <laughs> Instant fail. 
Maybe I just shouldn't have dodged. Maybe I should just run back, right? One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Something like just run back. If I pop dodge, I think just staying there. So he, like he's got a triple uphill meter fat to serve me, right? So I think if I pop dodge, I'd just stay there to get tackles on the ball, soul style. Soul style. Yeah, these knots are impossible to knock over. That's a good point. Absolute invincible snot rings. He's also got no rerolls, so <laughs> he's definitely one million percent. <laughs> he's absolutely one million percent safe now. He has invincible snotlings and no rerolls. There is absolutely no way to beat somebody who has this this level of invincibility. Flip me. How many dodges is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, one dodge. So if I'm going to do one, no, it's two dodges, isn't it? One dodge, I can just go in there then. I just go in here, because it's one dodge. Okay, so he bases, and he bases, he might as well base for all the difference it makes. I don't know, it could be another assist, couldn't it? can punch. What does he do? Not a lot. Um, I really want to foul this guy. <laughs> kind of first, more than anything, honestly. Um, oh, God. Because I might want to pick up the ball and stuff. Okay, I'm just going to foul. Foul the gutter first. Absolutely nothing. Incredible. <laughs> oh, I blocked my path, didn't I? Never mind. Should have based from here. Get the pal. In a cas? Way. Hey. No, oh, blocking my path was actually super bad. Oh, I didn't think of it going into the crowd. <laughs> so I've got to run a right here. <laughs> it's in two tackle zones! Yes! <laughs> oh god, dub skull. So now... I think I'd just like have to go for the dodge pickup, right? Because otherwise I've got to can just pick it pick it up and fuck off. <laughs> God <laughs> Yeah, maybe I shouldn't have moved him, maybe I should have... Th I didn't think of it going in the crowd, which is stupid, because obviously he could sidestep there, and he, he could have stayed on the sideline and stuff. He could surf the block goal. This is at least, like, difficult for him to get to, but... Because it, it being two tackles ones wasn't that good, right? Because he could have just punched it. I mean, he did go stupid just now. But he could have just punched it and scattered it. So it being in two tackles once wasn't good enough. I had to go for the pickup. But yeah, he does get to scatter it again, which is going to be in one tackle zone at least, probably, unless it's a one in eight. 
Yep, so it's at least in the tackle zone. And he's got to make a couple of dodges to get through. And he can't get too far away. So this isn't too terrible. Yeah, the stupid was really nice, yeah. It did solve, yeah, I probably should not have moved all of my reactive pieces, should I? I really probably should not have based this. But I was thinking I'd go for the pickup, right? I think I'd like go for a dodge and a pickup and stuff. That's what I was thinking. Oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> I wonder how I'm going to get three dice on you. <laughs> oh, shut up. Well, that's not doing anything for him. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's still not basing. He's still not basing the mummy. Incredible. And he just makes all of the rolls to stop it anyway. <laughs> God damn it. to go. Yes, it looks like I am forcing him into the perfect turn 8 stall, doesn't it? It really does. Oh, I can come around the top. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Fuck. So a 3 2, two I could make without dodge, but I've only got one reroll. So I guess I can't do that. I can maybe move him around afterwards. And I can maybe make this block afterwards. Um Fifty percent. Well, seventy-five percent in. I have to do it. There are safe moves first. I could move this guy to hold the side and stuff. Oh my god! I have to roll because it's a skull. Hey, I got the pal. <laughs> Into nothing. <laughs> oh my god. Blockless block. Pow. Geophyte to base him. That seems good, right? But then if I'm, I'm then this guy isn't based anyway, so I might as well just base him from there. This has got better payoff, so there's a bit of risk, but there's better payoff. Right, this guy, how do we foul? Three plus four plus foul. Or three plus three plus GFI? This might be the best way, mightn't it? But then on the other hand, this gives us the dodge into basing the basing the basing this guy as well as fouling him so this seems pretty good
Yes! Yes! Oh my god, okay. A little bit happy about that. <laughs> Poker face is established. Okay. Okay, pretty good. Um, oh. Argue the call. Fail. Eliminated. This guy is no longer based. Okay, well. Well, not that good. But, I mean, pretty good. It was pretty nice having the, the bonus of, of basing the 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 thrower but uh, obviously <laughs> casting this guy was definitely uh worth the trade no rerolls either side oh i should just let him score shouldn't i like, he was trying to score he was he was probably trying to score in two. I should have just stopped him, tried to stop him stalling, I guess, and then one, two, one. And instead of like let him have the perfect turn eight stall, haven't I? I did have the easiest two. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, honestly, that's it's probably true, isn't it? That was probably a tactical error there. That was probably a tactical error. I should have just let him. You know, like, just blitz, blitz a snotling, bring a, bring a loads of guys down, and then let him score in two, and then two on grind him. Like, I'd removed the bomber, I'd removed Creek. He wasn't getting to foul and use his bribes on fouls because he's underworld, so he never gets to foul because he's just constantly, you know, like, losing the positional battle, isn't he? So, yep, I should have just two on grinded him, yeah. Yeah. That's interesting, isn't it? This this is this should have been a shepherding score. And instead by making it scrappy I could lose. And even if I win two one I get less SPP than if I'd two one grinded it as well. Yeah. Yeah, Muldrifter probably would have done, wouldn't he? I just can't help, like, battling sometimes. But yeah, I guess that was, it was just wrong, wasn't it, in this case? 100% incorrect. Okay, Mummy on there is good. Google here is good. Um, just try to pick up with a blodger, right? That's the safest I can, I'm gonna, I can possibly be, is just picking up with a blodger. Yep, good. And, uh, actually I can, I can just guard cage, right? Just guard cage. Safe as possible. The ultimate eye cage now with guards means that he can't really do anything. Yeah, it does look pretty good. I well, probably could have tried for a counter score, but this seems pretty good, doesn't it? He's got uphill for a pal. I can always try to move up next turn as well. The fact I've got no rerolls just made it made it really scary for me to like blitz and then like if I blitzed him and then like dub scold, then he could just dodge with a goblin on a three plus and dodge with a three plus there and get two dice on me, right? So it was just how terrible the dub skull was was why I didn't just blitz um this blitzer with a white. Obviously blitzing the snotlings means that you can they can sidestep and be annoying. So that was the idea of it behind this. Just absolute minimum risk with not having rerolls. And having like move players, so now this turn can maybe you know uh, 
be a better chance to get downfield somehow. And I can make the GFIs on the last turn, because he won't have a turn back. Hey. All right. Well, this looks very good, doesn't it? So we'd like to hand off to this white, which means this guy blitzing looks good. It's funny because I very rarely eye cage, and yet today I've played like, what, two games and I caged loads. Super interesting. Sorry, this is good, isn't it? Because there's a screen all the way across. Yeah. Uh, looks pretty good. I can try the 3 plus handoff to split the whole thing next turn level in. Yeah, some uh, some SPPs and the this this mummy is the only one who wants to kill things apparently. He's on 10 and he's on 4. The creek cast was incredible, wasn't it? And then, and then Bomber cast himself. He's actually been really unlucky with his stars. As much as his, as much as his snotlings were made of iron. <laughs> as much as his snotling, as much as his snotlings were completely and utterly invincible, um, his stars were a bit un were pretty unlucky actually. Hey. Cheeky cars. Thank you very much. There, I can't and he can't touch my uh, can't touch my ball. With a sidestep. Obviously, there's not another turn. I wasn't worried about that. Um, can three dice here. Mummy SPP is good. Thank you. <laughs> Good mummy. This is optimal for the bobble box. For the handoff. Because it could... It could scatter to one of those two guys and then they could fail to catch it and it could scatter back onto him. So it will increase the chances by like, it even did, didn't it? There you go. It increased the chances by like 0.1 of a percent or whatever. So, correct to do. Maybe not worth the clicks. Oh my God, the mummy got MVP, got his level. Fantastic. I should do the levels a bit, shouldn't I? Uh, in this, there you go. And we got the one nil win. That was, uh, that was a weird game. The invincible snotlings and yet the terrible uh, star players. 
So we've got to get the block here. Thank you very much. Block is pretty incredible. And now he's pretty much finished. Could get a stand firm. Um, and then, you know, plus AV is good, plus movement is incredible. But block is the big one, isn't it? Block is the one that you really, 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 really want for your mummies. Absolutely incredible getting block. Um, this guy's on five, so can't level. This guy's on five, so can't level. But they're both really close to getting guard, a mighty blow, and block. Um, so yeah, I'll carry on this guy next game to get him block, and then carry on this guy to get him more. And hopefully we can start farming with the sneaky get dirty player. He did cast the uh, uh, gutter run that game, didn't he? So he did. He did something with sneaky get dirty player. So he, he got sent off, but he he did a great job. So there you go, that's the team at the end of that game. So um, thank, thank you very much. Um, break Tackle, no it's not. Unfortunately Break Tackle is nowhere near as it, used, as it used to be, right? It would make them, because they're strength 5, it would add 2 to their agility when they make a dodge. So only a 3+, plus. whereas in the old rules it would have made them a 1+. Plus. And it would actually be great, right, if you could give them plus 2 movement and then give them old Break Tackle then I'd take it, but new break tackle is not a mummy skill. They just want block guard, stand firm, and uh, AV and movement. In fact, that would be like, oh, and defensive as well, right? So you could like have movement four, you could even have like movement five, block, dodge defensive, I don't know. You could try randoms and stuff as well to make them more TV efficient, but with this being kind of a short run, I just want to get them block so that they're really good. So there you go. Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.